Hi, this is the lesson of Oracle SQL conversion functions and conditional expressions. This is the outline of this lesson. In some cases, the Oracle server receives data of one data type where it expects data of a different data type. When this happens, the Oracle server can automatically convert the data to the expected data type. This data type conversion can be done implicitly by the Oracle server or explicitly by the user. Implicit data type conversions work according to the rules. Explicit data type conversion are done by using the conversion functions. In expression, the Oracle server can automatically convert a var char2 or char value to number or date type value. For example, the expression higher underscore date greater than 01 Jan 90 results to the implicit conversion from the string to date. Similarly, a number or date type value can be automatically converted to character data by Oracle server. Note that the implicit interconversion happens only when the character represents the valid number or date type value respectively. For example, examine the below select queries. Both the queries will give the same result because Oracle internally treats 15,000 and 15,000 with single quotation as same. SQL provides three functions to convert a value from one data type to another. To char. To number. To date. To use to char function with dates. The format model must be enclosed with single quotation marks and is case sensitive. The format model can include any valid date format element. But be sure to separate the date value from the format model with a comma. The names of days and months in the output are automatically padded with blanks. To remove padded blanks or to suppress leading zeros, use the fill mode FM element. The SQL statements in the slide displays the last names and higher dates for all employees. The higher date appears as the result shown in the slide. To underscore char converts a date time data type to a value of varchar2 data type in the format specified by the format model. A format model is a character literal that describes the format of date time stored in a character string. The table in the slide shows some of the valid format element for the date. The slides show the time elements format the time portion of the date. You can add character strings by enclosing them with double quotation marks. The slides show the use of number suffixes spell out numbers. The tables shows in the slide are all valid elements for the date and time that can be used as a format for the tochar function. These are some elements of the format elements that you can use with the to underscore char function to display a number values as character. The sequel in the slide show an example of using some of the numeric elements. You may want to convert a character string to either a number or a date. To accomplish this task, use the to underscore number or to underscore date functions. The format model that you select is based on the previously demonstrated format elements. These functions have an FX modifier. This modifier specifies the exact match for the character argument and date format model to a to underscore date format. The sequel in the slide is to find employees hired before 1990, use the RR date format, which produces the same results whether the command is run IN1999 or now. Single row function can be nested to any depth. Nested function are evaluated from the innermost level to the outermost level. The slide example displays the last underscore names of employees in Department 60. The evaluation of the SQL statement involves three steps. The first step, the inner function retrieves the first eight characters of the last time. The second step, the outer function concatenates the result with underscore us. The third step, the outermost function converts the results to uppercase. The entire expressions becomes the column heading because no column alias was given.
The following functions work with any data type and pertain to using nulls. NVL, converts a null value to an actual value. NVL2, if expression 1 is not null, NVL2 returns expression 2. If expression 1 is null, NVL2 returns expression 3. The argument expression 1 can have any data type. Null if, compare two expressions and returns null if they are equal, return the first expression if they are not equal. Coalesce, returns the first non-null expression int expression list. The first sequel shows how you can use the NVL function to calculate the annual compensation of all employees. You need to multiply the monthly salary by 12 and then add the commission percentage to the result. In the second sequel shown in the slide, the commission underscore PCT column is examined. If a value is detected, the text literal value of sal plus comm is returned. If the commission underscore PCT column contains a null value, the text literal value of sal is returned. In the example shown in the slide is the used of nullif function. In the sequel, the length of the first name in the employees table is compared to the length of the last name in the employees table. When the lengths of the names are equal, a null value is displayed. When the lengths of the names are not equal, the length of the first name is displayed. NVL and coalesce are used to achieve the same functionality of providing a default value in case the column returns a null. The differences are, NVL accepts only two arguments whereas coalesce can take multiple arguments. NVL evaluates both the arguments and coalesce stops at first occurrence of a non-null value. In the example shown in the slide, if the manager underscore ID value is not null, it is displayed. If the manager underscore ID value is null, then the commission underscore PCT is displayed. If the manager underscore ID and commission underscore PCT values are null, then no commission and no manager is displayed. Note. The two methods that are used to implement conditional processing, if then else logic, in a SQL statement are the case expression and the decode function. Case expression allow you to use the if-then-else logic in SQL statements without having to invoke procedures. In the SQL statement in the slide, the value of job underscore ID is decoded. If job underscore ID is IT underscore prog, the salary increase to 10%. If job underscore ID is ST underscore clerk, the salary increase is 15%, if job underscore ID is SA underscore rep, the salary increase is 20%. For all other job roles, there is no increase in salary. The decode function decodes an expression in a way similar to the if-then-else logic that is used in various language. In the SQL statement in the slide, the value of job underscore ID is tested. If job underscore ID is it underscore prog, the salary increase to 10%, if job underscore ID is st underscore clerk, the salary increase is 15%, if job underscore ID is sa underscore rep, the salary increase is 20%. For all other job roles, there is no increase in salary. In this lesson, you should have learned how to Use state formats for display using functions. Use conversion function to convert column data types. Use NVL functions. Use if-then-else logic and other conditional expression in a select statement.